Okay, so it's down in the basement, along with his notes. Which should tell us where to go for the other two monoliths. I've seen these stone fingers jutting up in the skyline elsewhere. I just can't quite remember where. I think one's in Salvation Harbour. Brothers and sisters, please be careful. The end of the cycle is nigh, and wild beasts have begun to inadvertently emerge in some of our premises. If you are visiting the Zetetic, uh, Zetetic room, uh, please exercise extreme caution and be sure to bear arms. Can I arm bears instead? The door won't budge. Hey, I thought I had the key. I'd rather arm bears. Wrote instructions out to find the other two monoliths. Need to open the entrance. He hid the instructions downstairs. Only the seed can find them. The key to the lower room is on the altar. Oh, okay, okay. It's on the altar. Oh, is it the fire bowl? No. Is it on an altar upstairs? By chance? Probably. Ah. <laughs> right there. It's not an altar, that's a lectern. But okay. Uh, the Lord has established his throne in heaven among the tongues of the flames and fiery pits. Those who are pure shall rest by his feet, and their souls will rejoice, and they will sing forever among the angels. Sinners, uh, contrawise, uh, shall go to hell, uh, the hame of, of devil uh, sunk below with its cold streets of silver cobblestones where they'll rest in eternal suffering until the end of time. Whoa, look at that hand. Oh, that's for that down there, I think. Okay. Okay, I got the key. Let's do this. Lucid dreaming, dream wandering. Someone's been studying hard. False wall? Yeah, false wall. Okay, what do we got? Oh, we got monsters right behind. Come on. Lunge at me, damn it. Here he goes. Boom! Right in the brain. Oh god. All the drugs. Take more. Oh yeah. I think I need an antipsychotic, I'm fine. What is this? Laudanum. Sleeping draft. A strong one. Injections. And the Holy Grail. That looks like what we're after. At last, the dreams of my brothers and sisters have started to come clear. The cycle has come to an end. Time to perform the cleansing of our souls, so can uh, retrain, uh, retain their memory, their purpose. I put together all the signs from our dreams and hid them so only the seed can find them. Uh, they'll help him find what he seeks. Seed, if you're reading this, I hope you'll restart the cycle so that we may meet the next one. I think I am actually going to not end the world. I want to see what happens when we do, but I don't think uh, that's a good idea. The human blood is to find treasures of the ones who are not human anymore. The first stone will drop the shadow on his dwelling. Three lives uh, take uh, their start among the iron horses in the shadow of the second stone. Okay. Three lives take their start among the iron horses. I mean, iron horses could be cars. 
The waters will wash away the first blood they spill. Hmm. It's all kinds of weird. Some puzzles there. Uh, and of course it would be tentacle shaped. <laughs> Are there any horse statues made of metal? There might be in one of the big parts. Be part of the seal. Hmm. Oh god. Creepy things are happening. Here we go. Looks like this was left for me. These are the notes. Father Nicholas's instructions. The first monolith, uh, by its mere presence, shall transform a man from ordinary to renowned. Once the water rises, he will divine in human treasures never before seen, drawing crowds and the claim uh, to his humble abode. Many shall praise him, transcribe his words, and share uh, his face on paper. Seek the monolith, for it hides what the seed desires under the azure cloak. The second monolith, monolith, portentous and proud, shall be delivered unto Oakmont with disciples three, each identical to the last. They shall enter this world at an uncertain hour, as the first young citizens of Oakmont after the waters rise. Seek the monolith, for it holds that which the seed desires. Maybe we need to figure that out in the mine palace. What the hell is this infernal chest? It's a mimic! I don't trust you, Mimic. <laughs> it was a Mimic! Oh, yes. Right, is this also... fake? No. Alright, let's have a look at the uh, Mind Palace. Restart the cycle saves mankind. If I restart the cycle, Oakmont will be destroyed, but mankind will be spared for a few centuries. Uh, restart the cycle is useless. No sense in postponing the inevitable. One day, someone will end the cycle and mankind will be destroyed. Well, I don't want to be that guy, so... No. Hmm... Once the water rises, he will divine in human treasures never before seen, drawing crowds and acclaim to his humble abode. Many shall praise him, transcribe his words, and share his face on paper. It's a riddle, obviously, right? be delivered unto Oakmont with disciples three, each identical to the last. They shall enter this world at an uncertain hour. The first young citizens of Oakmont, uh, after the water rises. Man. Okay, I don't think there's anywhere else to go down here. She gone. <laughs> Shopping list. Cans of gasoline, at least five. Kindling, make sure it's dry. Large boxes of matches, one should be enough. Try to get everything to the church before dawn. Yeah. Well, she's gone. I guess she decided not... Oh, no, she's here. 
You're still considering it, aren't you? Forgive me my weak will, brothers and sisters. I could not follow you. Oh, forgive me my weak will, brothers and sisters. <laughs> I could not follow you. I mean, there is a little bit of gas left in this can if you really feel strongly about it, but, um, no, don't. Hmm. Okay, well, we gotta figure these out, then. Seek the monolith, for it hides what the seed desires beneath an azure cloak. See, I'm quite certain I saw a monolith in the distance down in Salvation Harbor somewhere. Not sure where. Oh, wait a minute, though. First part of the instructions, I mean, if you look at what it says here, um, the first monolith emerged near the house of a man who found treasures. People wrote about him. Library or Chronicle. We can find that there. This one emerged at a place where three identical disciples were born after the flood. Medical records or City Hall, maybe? Well, we're near City Hall now. So let's just run up there. In fact, I do need to take a quick bio break as well, guys. So I'm just going to quickly uh, depart. I'm just going to leave the thing here like this. I'll give you guys a nice view of this, not of me doing what I need to do. I'll be back in a couple of minutes, guys. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Right. City Hall. Um... What the hell? What is going on with the sky? Okay, that's weird. The stars are right. Yes. The big question is, what will the sea do? Is that the sun rising or not? I can't tell. Everything's going all kinds of banana balls and weird. There's lightning. Oh my god. The world is coming to an end, you guys. Look at this. Dang! Hi. Have you seen the sky outside? It's very weird. Oh, stop bothering me, newcomer. Okay, fine. It's like when you get enlightened in Bloodborne and suddenly see the monsters. Yeah, that's a good one. So the second part of the instructions is here. Um, we want citizens. The first young citizens of Upmont after the waters rise, so it's after the flood. Records. So Laura Claire and Alison White, uh, Whitley, Whitley, Wheatley, I don't know, triplets. Record loss for date of birth at the start of the flood. Um, railway station on the intersection of Salvation Road and Moorland Road in Western Shells. That's probably where that monolith was that I saw them. I could see it in the distance, but I don't think we've ever been up to it to actually look at it. Okay. So, I actually looked over here and I was like, hmm, here maybe? So, yeah. In the railway station, at the intersection of Salvation Road, and 
Moreland Road, so it's here. So I guess, yeah. That is actually, I think, where we were earlier. When That might be where the um, thingy is. The statues? I don't remember. Alright. The other one... Uh, we need to find... Near the house of a man who found treasures and people wrote about him. So that sounds to me more like there may be an article about him in the paper. Like an interview with him or that kind of thing. We're looking for a treasure hunter, basically. Okay. It's the coming of Goza, I think. Once the waters rise, he will divine in human treasures never before seen. So again, after the flood, uh, celebrities, I suppose, and articles and interviews. The small st uh, strand line at the eastern end of Old Colony Road is now the talking uh, talk of Oakmont. Jimmy Pierce, a fisherman living on the boondocks of the border of uh, Coverside and Grimhaven, Grimhaven Bay, has become famous overnight for his remarkable findings. Not a week passes without him emerging from the sea with another piece of gold, jewellery or ancient treasure. Antiquities expert Dan Miles is baffled. These trinkets are unlike anything I've seen, said Miss Miles. The only thing I can tell you for certain, it's pretty darn old. Well, thank you for that learned opinion. That's old, that is. Ooh. Okay, so... This one... That's the triplet record. Coverside and Grimhaven Bay border on here. At the Strand Line, at the eastern end of Old Colony Street. So it's over here somewhere. So I guess it's over here. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go get that one first. Don't you guys go summoning dark gods in my chat, please. I don't have a moderator to deal with that. There are no moderation powers available on Twitch to ban the dark ones. The, the deep old things. Alright, so we go there, we'll cross the water. So there's supposed to be a monolith there. There it is. I see you. So we need to get to that. Oh, it's inside here? Damn, okay. Let's go around in the boat and look for a way through. That door's not openable. No, don't do it. We're not summoning Shoggoths or Cthulhu or anything like that. Not seeing any way into this place. Hmm. 
Maybe it's on this side, on the land bend. You can't stop me from chanting for Cthulhu, you're not my real dad. <laughs> yeah, no oh, damn it, but I can still send you to bed without your supper. And no more pizza lunchables for you either, they're clearly making you hyper. And how does one get to this thing? Wait, is it inside here, or is it further back? Yeah, it's definitely inside this block. How do I get in? I mean, the world's coming to an end. I need to figure this out. You already ate all the pizza lunchables? Well, those are your last ones, okay? Clearly a mistake. I don't have to go in through here, do I? Hmm. From, yeah, from now on, it's carrot sticks for lunch, okay? And, uh... I don't know. Maybe some pieces of watermelon or something. Man, how do I get in this place? There's like no doors that I can open. Not one door. I mean, maybe there's somewhere back here? No. Let's reread the whole thing. Maybe there's a bit more information in there. I'm gonna try and take your Necronomicon next, if I have to. Don't make me. You hit it, I will find it with my third eye. Once the water rises, he will divine in human treasures never before seen, drawing crowds and acclaim to his humble abode. Many shall praise him and transcribe his words, share his face on paper. Where I need to go? Up there? I have no idea how to get into this place. This is confusing. Thing is, we're looking for a house. All of those are factories on that side. 
The houses are on this side of the road, right? Oh, wait a minute, is it further down? The eastern end of Old Colony Street. further down this way where I put the marker, not on that stretch. Maybe it's over here then, and we find a way across somehow. I mean, there's also a monolith here, but this is much smaller than that one over there. That's huge. That's like the, that's like the one outside the church, right? So what is this? Okay, it's this one. No sign of a seal fragment on this side of the monolith. This isn't gonna be easy. It's still wet. Someone undressed in a hurry. Hmm. Mind Palace. The prophecy says that one monolith will hide what I seek under an azure cloak. Sounds like I need to hunt for part of the seal underwater. The fisherman from the article found the gold underwater. He should have somewhere to dive from, maybe I'll find clues in his house. 